Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are building activity centers. For dad to play in. Our baby Carter is officially, he's not six months old yet, but he's officially five months old yet. And I feel like around the like five to six months, I mean, maybe earlier, maybe we're like totally behind, but we decided that we need to get some sort of like activity center for Carter to play in. So far we have like this play mat down here that he plays a lot in. We also have a swing that he gets a lot of use out of, but now he's getting quite chunky. So he's getting kind of big and we feel like we need something else to put him in. Hefty. That he, <laughs> Uh, hefty, or I like to say husky. So Carter's a little tight bit, <laughs> Carter's a little bit tight nest, a little bit husky, a little bit hefty, and he needs some sort of like activity center or bouncer to be in. I went on Amazon, and per usual, I wasn't sure which one to choose, so I chose two on Amazon, and we got them both shipped here. We actually started to unbox one of them, and I was like, wait a second, we need to film this to show you guys so that if you are in between, like, which activity center should I get, like, which one's be best for my baby, we want to show you both of them. We're gonna unbox them both, build them both. Carter's napping right now. Maybe whenever he wakes up, he can play in both of them, and we. Can gonna give you guys our final review we're going to ship one back right what is going back <laughs> so we do have to ship one back so hopefully we will make a determination so stay with us in this video if you want to see how to build them what the features are like which one we like the best and uh kind of make the decision for yourself as well i will link them both in the description below again both on amazon one is fisher price one is skip hop here we go okay so we're gonna start with this one it's a two-in-one sit and stand activity center by fisher price it looks pretty cool and so by two and one it looks like you'll be able to play in it when you're like in that four to like not walking age and then when you're at that walking age it can turn into a cool race car extravaganza play center we'll see how hard this thing is to build so we already took everything out of the box and we put the legs on thinking that's all that you had to do was just literally snap these legs on which took like uh, two seconds you do have to screw in the legs so Emmanuel might take the liberty at screwing in these legs but it's pretty easy <laughs> to assemble so far he's literally just snap into place and I think there are some little tool bag screws and you just uh, nice. screw those into each of them we now have to find a screwdriver hold for all the handy men and ladies out there it takes 12 screws so if you want to grab your power drill do it so once you have the legs on it literally just flips over and there's all these spots that you put the toys in there's like one two three big spots a couple little circles and they all come in these bags so I assume that like each one kind of just like goes in one of these sections and then the seat goes in the middle but we haven't done like I think that's the last step mm -hmm. So, Fisher Price, if you would like to make one of these for adults, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you. Also, batteries not included. We put all the toys in so far. They pretty much all just clicked into place. It showed you like where they went. I just stuck these in all different random places. I don't think it matters where you put these little stick things. <laughs> now we have to put, this is the seat, and you have to put the little, yeah. that thing in here. Uh huh. Make sure the red clips face the tail, the tailor side of the seat ring. Got it. And then do what exactly? Okay, red wheel. And we want these red notches here. So this is supposed to go like this, like this. Um, doesn't seem right. Oh, sometimes you just gotta look at a photo. Photo. Okay, so it's a backwards hook. And then you're actually gonna invertently open it. Watch what I do, watch what I do. All right, so I just hooked them on each side here and then it's like a... Um, watch what you do, watch what you do, baby. Show them. Okay, wrong way. This is hard, this is embarrassing. How am I gonna build a house ever? Want to hand off? Yeah, you go for it. Bringing in the big guns. Okay, so here's the seat. The back side is like the back. That's where the red is. And so you know that the baby is going to sit in it like this where the print is on the inside. So I think you do this and you like wrap it over the edge like this and then loop it this way. So just think about like how you want the baby to go in and they're gonna sit in where like the print is, the underside is this gray side with these buckles. So you have to make kind of go over the edge. I would say the instructions are very confusing whenever it says that. So once you get these two red ones on the outside of this red ring, then the other little white ones will just kind of like snap around as you finish it. That was a little bit confusing. <laughs> So now it's secure, baby can go inside of it. I don't know what you do next, but we shall see. I think you then literally just snap it into this space. 
Why are you holding it so high? Is that out of the camera? <laughs> what are you doing? I thought that out of the camera. Oh. And I get to go over this. So it snaps right in, and the cool part is it like rotates. So when baby's in it, he can play with all of the toys. 365. And then that one right there, that this? one has batteries. So. Oh, yeah. He put batteries Turn in Turn it on on the other side. Music. Oh, here? On the other side. Here? Yep. Oh, There's okay. a red fill, fill. There you go. This? Yep. Not that one. And then push button. Oh snap! It's 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 a club club, club Benton house. Club Fisher Price. Club <laughs> Fisher club Price. Fisher Price. So the only other thing that I wanted to mention is with this one, the like next step that it's like the two in one is like, this is what you would typically use until baby kind of outgrows this. And then the next thing they have is this little item that turns it into this little like race car. And I thought it was a race car, but now that I look at it, this is not really a race car track. It like has this, and then you just kind of take some of these pieces out and you can kind of like fly down. But I guess you could use like, if like you have a boy and he does have cars and stuff, you could like use it for that. But it doesn't like come with like race cars, which is what I thought. Per the Amazon review, but basically you would just like take this seat out, I think, and then put this kind of together somehow. And that's just kind of in the middle structure. We're probably not gonna build this piece right now, but that's kind of like the two in one feature. I think the skip hop one, which we're about to build, I think that more like turns into like seats and like a table that you could actually use. This is never gonna be a table. There's like no insert to make this a table, but uh, I like this one so far for being the price point it's at. We'll kind of go over all that stuff at the end, but for the price point and the quality and how quick it was for us to build it, what did that take us? 10 minutes? <laughs> but I had the power drills though. You know, you gotta have your power drills when you're building heavy machinery like this for kids. All right, now it's time for us to unbox and totally build the second activity center that I got, which is the Skip Hop three-in-one activity center. This is probably the one that I got the most recommendations on for people on social media. I like pulled the audience. And the Skip Hop one was probably the most recommended Beautiful one. Beautiful boxing. This is, <laughs> this is just gorgeous. I think it's a box in a box. Like, I think their box is no, probably inside not, of it. It's not a box in a box. It's oh. just a box with the stuff in it. Oh, I mean, that's fine. I don't think we really judge the product by the box, but is it heavier than the other one? Uh, it feels more, like, durable. Ooh, important. I might be using my drill on this one. Okay, so man, I was gonna box it. Let's go. First impression, guys. This little thing took us a little bit to snap that bad boy. Oh, in it's place. already done for us. On the other one, it's already done. Oh. Customer service. I don't need a fancy box. I'm good with the brown box. If you'll do my job for me, hashtag lazy. Oh wow, these legs are made of metal as opposed to plastic. So you know, maybe the quality's better. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, this one already feels way more heavy duty than the other one. The other one was just like really heavy plastic, and this is straight up metal. Yeah. Metal. Yeah, so the cool thing about this three-in-one is I feel like the Fisher Price one had like one and then two where you could play inside of it, you could sand and like play with it, but you couldn't like change it to a play table. This is actually gonna be like a play table that you could use. Oh wait, it has a seat too. So I'm pretty excited to build this. Oh, so we wanna set it up as an activity center. Step number one, put on the legs. Legs, do they just snap in place? It looks like they kind of just like snap. Oh yeah, oh I can do this. Ready? Do you screw these too? No, no screws necessary. No screws necessary. Key. <laughs> uh, strength is required. <laughs> Step number two. Platform assembly. Where's the platform? The platform is like what the baby puts its feet on. So this one you can like, until baby can actually reach the ground, there's a platform, which is cool. Oh, is the platform the part that's on the inside of the table right now? Oh, so you just like unsnapped it. Push. There's gotta be it your way. Strength required. So this is the platform that would have went on the inside of the table if you were using it as a table, but if you're using it as the activity center, it's what baby puts its feet on, and then these things just snap into here. Yep. This way, up. Mm -hmm. I thought this was gonna be much harder. Whoa, this is <laughs> pretty easy. That's it, just like that. Okay, so put it up. Hey! So next is the seat installation. I think the seat just kind of like clips in place. So this is a strength required. Okay, and this thing also spins. So the seat still spins 360, so it was already set up for us, which we appreciate. We did the legs, platform, seat. Next is installing toys. Place the toy on the edge of the table and the clip will be pushed out. So there's like a clip that will go on the outside. Oh, that's much smart. Oh, okay, can you show yeah. them how you clipped it? You just got the table. <sighs> 
So the toys just like clip on the sides. So there's no like place that you insert it, like the Fisher Price one, it just kind of like clips on the outside, which is cool because then you have the sturdiness of the actual table and the integrity of the table that you can use moving forward. But here's the catch. Okay, here's the catch. I think that's the only toy they provide. Oh, only toy. Only one toy? What are these boxes? Are these boxes toys? More toys! That would have been pretty lame if there's only one toy. I was like, real cool. Okay, so there's the hook and you just put it on. It just and snaps put, on. And you can put it wherever you want. It doesn't matter where you put it. It's way easier. Oh, the piano goes right here. No, the piano goes on the um, feet. Whoa. Well, the cool thing is, is you could take all these toys off and just put your own toys on too. Yeah. So this one's much more simple, but simple is good. Yeah, this one is simpler in terms of like probably the toys. I mean, there's the same amount of toys probably. There's still one toy that has the battery, all the other ones you just play with. It's pretty much the same items, but I don't like this one. So I'll just give uh, my perspective from the dad, and then of course I'll let you guys talk to Christine because that's what really matters. But assembly wise, you don't need a screwdriver or anything to put this together. Right out of the box, everything just snaps together. That's it. Whereas this one, which, you know, in all reality, this is made out of plastic. This is made out of metal. Why do I need a bunch of screws to put this together? Well, because of the integrity. Structurally, this is much more sturdy. Uh, I would say, they're both about the same weight, so it's just like put on the metal. Um, but to be honest with you, I like how busy this one is from like a perceived value that I'm getting more bang for your buck when it comes to like, I've got a piano down here, but then I've got this, I've got this, but like how much of this will he really like? I don't know if he's gonna enjoy that. But like over here, when it comes to just like the toys, I don't know, I like Do you think the toys here are more basic? These toys are more basic. Like I'm comparing these two. I think this one's better. It moves, it glides much better than like this one look <laughs> this one's like i mean it, it's, it's a little bit tougher to move. I hope I'm not too biased here. I do like this one. So this is a mirror. I do like, cause Carter likes, you know, the little mirrors in his current mat. So the fact that this has a mirror, I think that'll give him some entertainment. I do wish there was a mirror on this one. I'm gonna say that. I love the seesaw action here, but like that could get boring. I guess the fact that this makes noise too, that's good. I think toys wise, I do like the toys on this. I mean, there's a piano down here here versus a piano up here. So what I would say, I like the skip hop better from a structural perspective, building it was easier. I don't know which one Carter might like more, like having the ability to kind of move his feet in here and play the piano with his feet might be a big deal. But I do think that if I'm skip hop and I have the ability to create additional toys that I can just attach. Maybe they have more toys that you can buy online that's like an add-on package. They have an add-on package. I think that that would make the skip hop 10 times better because I don't think you can do any added here you could like maybe replace but i'm going skip hop it's, it's a little more simple but i like simple so manual went skip hop in terms of like putting it together and just like the structure of it i feel like and just toys and overall. like the toys overall you still like skip hop better uh well i like i See? like fisher price for toys yeah a little bit more but you're still leaning at skip hop for but the big one because i think that if there's an extension package for skip hop then i'm all for it i don't know if that's true or not Is yeah there? we're just making that up we actually don't know that <laughs> but the second thing i want to like have you just let people know is this is just like the activity center, right? Both of these have like additional things that it can do. So the Fisher Price is a two in one. The Skip Hop is a three in one. So how would you compare it in terms of like how long the baby could actually use this for? Cause I think you're someone that you don't like a lot of toys do and not. you don't want us to like keep like accumulating things. We have to keep buying and boxing up and only using for like a month or two. So I want you to compare like how long do you think Carter can use the Fisher Price one and use the Skip Hop one? And does that like help you pick one or the other? Very clearly this has an expiration date on it because eventually he's going to be too tall to sit into this because you can't adjust this you right you can't adjust this at all this whereas just the height. this one i don't know if you can see in here but there are like four different notches and you can adjust this leg so that this platform goes a lot lower all the way to the ground really or you can just unhook it completely if you want it and then boom you have the floor so the fact that you have this additional height gives you know a couple more months life on this one now let's just talk about toddlers, right? I can take all of these off if I wanted to. I'm not gonna do like all of them, but just so you guys can understand what I'm saying. I can take all of these off and then you have this clean white surface. And so, and that's got like what I'm calling a little 
plate here. You can just like put like some, some cereal, some Fruit Loops, and they can just enjoy themselves. They'll turn around, play with their toys, come back over here, eat some Fruit Loops. I feel like this works for multi-purpose. Now you said this is a three in one. Why is it like three? Like I see maybe one, what's two? So number two for both of them is that the baby can like stand when he can actually stand. They're not actually inside anymore. They can stay on the outside and play with the toys. So you would take this thing out and you would take the seat out of the Fisher Price one as well. The Fisher Price one, you add on that toy that goes like this, it goes like, doo -doo -doo, kind of looks like a racetrack. And then this one, you take this and you put it back inside. So it's kind of like a table and the table has the toys on it. And then the third thing that Skip Hop can do that Fisher Price can't do is that of course you can take all these toys off like Emmanuel said, it's just a flat table surface. And then somehow you make a chair. I'm not really sure how you make the chair yet. I think you take this this seat and that somehow turns into a chair. Let me go show you the box. So it says that you use it with explore and more kids chairs set of two chairs sold separately. So I think you don't get the chairs maybe with it. It converts to a play table. You don't get the chairs. Chairs come separate. The chairs come separate, but you do get the table. But I see exactly where their minds are. It's just like, hey, this will grow with your child. And I think that there was just a little bit more thought that- Cause we could use this table, don't we, you think? We could, they could, they could color on it, you know? And then I don't have to, we don't have to buy another piece of clunky furniture. You know, a lot of people will buy this stuff and then put it on like, you know, eBay or Marketplace directly after. I'd like to keep this for the second, third, fourth, fifth, and you know, 11th child that we have, so. So I pretty much echo most of what Emmanuel's been saying in case you're like wondering what my opinion is. I much prefer the structure, how sturdy Skip Pop is. I like that the toys can come off and you just have that clean, flat surface that you can kind of use getting older. All the toys come off. But I think we kind of glazed over the price point Point of both of them and Amano doesn't know what the price point is of either of them because I just asked him how much he thought the Fisher Price one was and what was your first guess when I said guess how much the Fisher Price one is? I mean what did you what did you say how much you thought it was? I thought I mean I'm obviously wrong. I thought it was probably thirty four ninety nine. He thought the fish price almost thirty four ninety nine, and I said higher. And I know that's probably dumb. So like, I know they make a lot of these, so there's a lot of intricacies with this. So maybe I would say forty nine ninety nine. And I said higher. And then I went maybe sixty nine ninety nine. And, and then I she said, said higher. higher. And then I said, oh hell no. So the Fisher Price one, uh, whenever we bought it, was $79.99 on Amazon. Maybe you can find it cheaper on other places, but that's how much it was on Amazon. And probably I think I'm gonna check Target as well. Now I need to check how much the Skip Pop one is. So I think I know, but I need to double check to make sure I don't lie to Emmanuel. You gotta double check. Okay, so I just confirmed what the Skip Pop price is. Wanna guess what we paid for the Skip Pop compared to $79.99? Do you think Skip Pop is higher or lower? Well, I'm gonna assume it's lower because I think that's where you were. You think Skip Pop is cheaper than the Fisher Price? I, th I thought that's where you were leading. No. Oh, it's more expensive. Yeah. These baby things are expensive. Like I wasn't expensive. Babies are expensive and baby toys are expensive. How much do you think I would want? I mean, I'm still like $34.99 up in here. So if you're saying this is more expensive. I mean, you can make Carter an activity table. I can get some two by fours and I can make him this thing. You okay, mean, well, you since, make one? since we'll save that for another day, for another rainy day project right, that you well, want to do. All right, well, I have to come out with a cost, and assuming that this transition This is, is more than Fisher Price. A table and whatnot, I guess maybe this is, I hope we're not in the three figures. Is this, it's probably 119, isn't it? 129, 129. Oh, that's. He better love it. He better love it. Skip Hop is one twenty nine ninety nine. That's what we paid for. it. It's so random because they just checked right now. Um, we filmed this video right before Christmas, so there's some random like holiday deals. And randomly, I just checked, and Skip Hop's on sale for one fifteen right now. I have a question. So what? How much is this? How much was this jungle mat? How much was this? Hold on. So now Amanda wants to know what the price of this was, which because is like, this is what uh, Carter's been using for the past like five months. He really, really likes it. We got it from our registry for my aunt and my grandma. This is a Fisher Price like jungle activity mat, has the Love toys it. and everything. Love it. But Amanda also doesn't know how much this is. So this was also an Amazon purchase from our registry. Maybe I'm just not aware of how much. Yeah, how much do you think this was? I mean, I don't know. How much How much would I pay knowing how much he loves this? I'd probably pay 90 bucks, $99. But how much do I think it's worth like not knowing how 
how much he loved it. And if my first impression was just like, oh, what is this? I would say $29.99. So it's $59.99. $59.99. Okay. So obviously. So now knowing this, does it make sense that these are $79, $129? Yeah. Man, the Skip Hop was a hard purchase, which is why I bought two. Because one of my friends was like, I don't think that like you might not need this. It might be like too expensive. A lot of people love this though. And I see why they love it. So if you can get a deal on it, like if you're watching this right now, go click on that little Amazon link that I put in the description. If it's still on sale for 115, or if there's like a coupon that you have or something, that's a big win. But um, even for 129, I guess we should see how Carter likes it. But I'm leaning towards this one. And knowing, knowing that like he's basically gonna be living in it as his like his fun playtime for like 30 to 45 minutes, maybe even an hour every single day, I think it's worth it. Because like I know how much he uses this bad boy. He loves it. He loves playing in there. It keeps him like entertained and blowing bubbles and happy go lucky. If this does anything similar to that, then it's worth it. One more thing I should mention is that I was also looking at like bouncers and jumpers and I got a couple recommendations on having something where Carter can actually put his foot flat, that that is super important for like his development as for his feet. So that's why I like this one because it seems like it can adjust. I'm not sure if right now, the only five months, I'm not sure if he can even touch this yet. So we'll have to see. I think it's almost waking up from his nap. So we will come back with you guys with Carter in them, see which one he likes. And then we got to ship one back. So we'll give you our final review here at the end of this video. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. So Carter is officially awake and ready ready to see his new activity centers. Activity center. <laughs> so, we're gonna start and put him in the Fisher Price one. I also just wanna see like how he fits in it. For reference, Carter is, I think he's like five and a half months old. It's kind of hefty. I think he's 17 pounds right now. Uh, I don't know how long he is. <laughs> Ooh, he instantly is very excited. Okay, his feet. Um, he's touching the floor. I, but like, would his whole foot fit flat on the floor? No. Or is he on his tippy toes, kind of? He's dangling. He's on his little dangly, so that's like for reference. Yeah, get it, buddy. Check this out. I mean, this is completely new for him. Yeah, so maybe anything he'd be excited about. <laughs> Like he would be entertained with this for a really, really long time. He's already just like so amazed by a new toy. So now I'm nervous if he doesn't like the <laughs> skip off one, which because I think of Angel and I have decided we like it the best. But hey, if he prefers for surprise. Do whatever he wants, but let's see it. I'm popping in here because as I'm editing this video, I noticed that I have no good footage of Carter playing in the Skip Hop Activity Center. Honestly, whenever we put him in it, I started filming him and then the rest of the video is me filming my leg. So that's really quality footage that I didn't want to put in here for you guys, but spoiler alert, you might already be able to tell that we are kind of leading towards the Skip Hop Activity Center as we're kind of building it and putting everything together. Of course, as long as Carter liked it, that was probably the one that we were gonna go with. So I do have some clips of Carter playing in the Activity Center since this video has been filmed because we actually decided to keep that one. So I'm gonna insert them here, but just in case you're confused why they're in different days or in different outfits, I just wanted to preface this and we will do our final review at the end of this video too. How do you this. like it? Ooh. And then, um, <laughs> 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 Hi, Carter. Hi, what's it Okay, it's final review time. Which one we're gonna keep, what we think. We've built them, Carter's played with them. It's still playing with them. <laughs> and we've kind of talked about the pros and cons of both of them. Amanda, do you wanna go first when you're gonna pick? I think honestly, either one of these he would like. They each have things for him to play with. I do think that the Fisher Price has like more things for him to be interested in. Like more stimulation, I think, with the Fisher Price like colors and stuff. But to be honest, he's probably gonna play with one thing at a time. And as he gets older, he'll eventually be able to, to play, you know, to step on the piano. So I believe that either way, the Skip Hop or the Fisher Price, Carter will like the toys. He's playing with this. He was playing with the other one. My personal preference is the Skip Hop. For durability purposes, Carter's obviously having a great time. This is insane. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I was gonna be I think he's overly stimulated right now. <laughs> 
So wait, which one did you decide? I think this is what you go with. Yeah, my bows on Skip Pop as well. I think it's totally worth it for him to be able to use for a longer period of time. It's way more sturdy, it's taller, and I just feel like we'll get more use out of it. Even if we don't want to get like a table and chairs yet, we can still use this. We can add on the chairs if we want to. So I feel like we'll be able to use this way longer. And like we said, Carter's gonna be excited about whatever. So Carter, this is your Christmas gift. Hi. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> but caveat though, guys, the Fisher Price one is really nice. So if yeah, your baby nice. is like, what is it, four months? I mean, Carter would probably use that younger. He probably could have used it starting at three. I would just go ahead and get it because it is very stimulating. I think he enjoyed his time in yeah. there and there's a lot of toy options. That's good. I think we as parents like this more, but I think Carter liked them both. Yeah. So Fisher Price one's also good. Just wanna make sure that that is clear. Yeah, all of these are on Amazon. I'll link them both in the description, but I feel like overall, when I talk to other moms as well, it's like, you can give your baby really simple things. They don't even need these. Like they have very simple ones that you can probably get at Walmart or at Target or even on Amazon too, that are even like, just like one, they're not like two in one. There's like one purpose and babies like anything, right? So don't like stress out about it. But if you wanted to see both of these, I hope this was helpful. And uh, we'll be back here soon to share more things on baby and essentials and uh, parent life. Yay! Oh.